Hello everyone and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. This is a quick video on Cisco Packet Tracer, a quirk that some people run into. So I get an email once in a while about how do I connect a PC to a router inside of Packet Tracer. So they're trying to do it and they can't get a connection. So here's why. So let's do this. We've got Packet Tracer up and running. I'm going to go up to a PC, just drag one in there. I'm just going to drag in the 1841 El Cheapo router. So what a lot of people do is they click on this automatically choose connection type and then go over to straight through cable because they're thinking that this should work like in real life. Like when you connect a PC to a switch, you're using just a regular straight through Ethernet cable. So we'll click on fast Ethernet 00, drag that over to the PC and connect to there. Now you notice that the links are red, which is fine for now, but we're going to need to turn on things. So let's turn on the router over here. And as I go to the command line, you'll see that basic bare config, nothing's there. So I'm going to go into the fast 00 interface, give the IP address. We'll just make it really simple. All ones and a slash 24 and no shut. Now you'll see that if I show IP in PR, I've got the status is up, which means I've done a no shut, but the protocol is down. So let's go over to the PC. Let's see what's going on. Now the PC, their interfaces are automatically up, but let's say that we want to configure an IP address just to make sure things are, are working or not working as intended. So I'm going to make this really simple, 1112. And that's a slash 24 mask and we can leave the default gateway and server just like normal. We'll go to command prompt and just do IP config and we see that uh, we see ourselves. We are alive. I can ping myself. Well, hopefully I can ping myself. Maybe not. And we'll stop that. Let's see if we can ping 1111. And we see we have nothing there, no connection. Now, if we go over here to config in fast ethernet, you'll see that the port status is on, everything uh, looks somewhat okay. So everything's good. So the reason for this is when you're connecting a PC to a router inside of Packet Tracer, you're gonna be using a crossover cable. And just to prove it to you, I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna nuke this link here going to hit delete. Now we'll just clear it out. Why not? New topology. Okay, drag in a PC again. Drag in the 1841 router. And now when I click on connections, we're going to go for the copper straight through. Click on the router, fast 00. zero. Click on the PC, fast ethernet. Configure the router side. And we'll go into the fast ethernet interface, give it the simple IP address of all ones, make it a slash 24 and no shut. And let's see what happens. Show IP interface brief. We have up and up, so that's a little different. Let's go to the PC, go over here to the desktop and IP configuration. We'll make a static IP 1112 slash 24. And we can leave the default gateway and server. Go to command prompt and let's see if we can ping 1111. And we have a reply. That means we have connectivity between the PC and the router. So right there I showed you that you're going to have to use a copper crossover cable in between a PC and a router. This is inside of Packet Tracer. Now normally in most situations this shouldn't matter, especially in real life, because this is how you would be connecting things in real life. You wouldn't be connecting a PC to a router uh, most of the time. What you would be doing is you'd have a router, and routers don't have many interfaces. They might have uh, two, maybe four interfaces uh, at the desktop, at the home level. So you're going to need more ports. So what if you need to connect five computers to, to, to your router? Well, you, you can't if you only have one or two ports on the router. So what you need to do is you're going to buy a switch. And we're going to buy a, what's a good switch here, a 2960. You're going to connect the router to the switch and then the PC to the switches. So this is how it's going to work. 
and we'll drag in uh, three PCs right there. So this is where we're going to be using a straight through cable. We're going to connect the PCs to the switches like so. So PC1, so something like that. So straight through cables from PCs to the switch and from the switch to the router, let's see if we can get away with the straight through cable there. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we have red, that's not a problem. Let's turn on the interface on Fast00 on the router and see if that link turns green. So we're gonna go to ConfT, interface Fast00. Same deal, IP address all ones. We'll make it slash 24 and no shut. Let's see if we have a color change on our link. And it looks like we have green on one side. Now the switch is orange or yellow. Uh, depending on if you are if you're colorblind or not but what's happening right here is the switch is going through spanning tree just to figure out if there are any loops in the network and just to prove to you that everything should be good I'm gonna go over to this uh, PC we'll give the IP address of all 1112 and let's see if we can ping through the switch and into the router so this is gonna be really simple 1112 and a slash 24 mask. And we'll just make sure all of our lights are green. That's good. So we'll go to the PC, go to the command prompt, and we're going to ping 1111. And we have a reply. So you can see there our ping is going from PC0 into the switch. The switch goes, OK, you're getting checked out fast 04. And you're going to hit that router, and the router replies back. In this case right here, we're using a straight through cable, regular cable from the router to a switch and another regular cable from the switch to the PCs. Thanks for watching.